Hello, you're welcome to solve this math problem, which is 81 power of sine square x plus 81 power of cos square x is equal to 30. To find the values of angles x such that x is between 0 to 360 degree. So, from this, our powers sine square x cos square x we make to have common power of sine square x. So, from this cos square x, we'll apply a trigonometric rule which is sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Then we make cos square x the subject. So this sine square x will take into this side. So it will be cos square x is equal to 1 minus sine square x. So it will be this which is 81 power of sine square x plus 81 power of cos square x will substitute this 1 minus sine square x is equal to this 30 then in the next step in here sine square x is common so we will let u is equal to sine square x so it will be 81 power of u then plus 81 power of 1 minus u is equal to this 30. Then in the next step, it will be 81 power of u plus 81 power of 1, which is same as 81. Then 81 power of negative u, it will be in the denominator, so it will be over 81 power of u is equal to this 30. Then in the next step, to remove this denominator of 81 power of u, we'll multiply in both sides by this 81 power of u. And here we'll multiply by 81 power of u. So 81 power of u times 81 power of u, it is 81 power of u plus u is 2u. Then plus 81 will cancel with this, 81 power of u will cancel with this 81 power of u. So it will be this. 81 is equal to this 30 times 81 power of u. Then in the next step, we'll take this into the left side. So it will be this 81 power of 2u, then minus this 30 times 81 power of u plus this 81 is equal to 0. Then in here 81 power of u is common, so we'll let v is equal to 81 power of u. So this 81 power of u, it is v, so it will be v square, then minus 30 times v, it will be minus 30 v, then plus 81 is equal to 0. Then from this quadratic equation, we can solve this by grouping and factorization. So it will be this v square, then minus 30v is same as minus 27v minus 3v, then plus this 81 is equal to 0. Then from here v is common, so we'll take v out of bracket, then v squared divided by v is v, negative 27v divided by v is negative 27 bracket in here negative 3 we take out of bracket negative 3v divided by negative 3 is v 81 divided by negative 3 is negative 27 bracket is equal to 0 then from here v minus 27 is common so we take v minus 27 bracket out of bracket this divided by this is v this divided by this is negative 3, bracket is equal to 0. Then from here we have two solutions, whereas this is the first solution, v minus 27 is equal to 0, and this is second solution, v minus 3 is equal to 0. Then in here we take negative 27 to the right side, it will be v is equal to 27. And here we take negative 3 to the right side, it will be v is equal to 3. Then from these values of v, we recall before we let v 
is equal to this 81 power of u. So from v is 81 power of u. So it will be 81 power of u is equal to this first solution which is 27. And the second solution is this 81 power of u is equal to this value of v which is this 3. Then in the next step, it will be this 81, it is 3 power 4. Then power 4 times power of u, it is b power of 4 u is equal to 27, it is 3 power of 3. Now they have same base, so we'll compare these powers. So it will be 4 u is equal to this 3. Then we divide by 4 in both sides. So this and this will cancel, then it will be u is equal to 3 over 4. And to solve from this other solution, 81, it is 3 power 4. Power of 4 times power of u, it will be power of 4u is equal to 3, which is same as 3 power of 1. Now they have same base of 3, so we'll compare these powers. So it will be 4u is equal to 1. Then we divide by 4 in both sides. So this and this will cancel, then it will be u is equal to 1 over 4. So we already get the values of u, but we are supposed to find the values of angle x. Then again, we recall, before we let u is equal to, in here we let u is equal to sine square x. So from u it is sine square x. Then it will be this, which is sine square x is equal to this 3 over 4. And in here, sine square x is equal to this 1 over 4. Then in the next step, we will apply square root in both sides. So this square root will cancel square, then it will be sine x is equal to square root of 3 then over square root of 4 it is 2 then plus or minus and here also we'll apply square root and here we'll apply square root this square root will cancel square then it will be sine x is equal to square root of 1 is 1 over square root of 4 is 2 so it will be plus or minus a half so after you get the values of sine x we're supposed to find the values of angle x then we draw a right angled triangle so from a right angled triangle whereas this this is as angle 30 and this is angle 60 then from 30 here it is a half and here 60, here it is square root of 3 over 2. And hypotenuse, it is 1. We know sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Then, but we are supposed to find the values, the values of angle X should be between 0 to 360. Whereas this is only a right angle triangle. Then we we'll draw a cycle. For, for this angle 30, it means the opposite is a half. For angle 30, opposite it is opposite is a half, hypotenuse is one. So for angle 30, this is angle 30. These are the values for for positive a half. This one positive a half. And these are the values for negative a half. Whereas this, the values of x, it will be 30. Then in here, the, this other angle, it will be 180 minus 30 
it is 180 minus 30 it is 150 and the other angle from here 180 plus 30 it is 20, 21 0 and the other angle from here 360 minus 30 it is 330 so we'll get the values for angle x when it is plus or minus a half whereas for positive a half it is above the x plane and below the x plane it is negative a half then in the next step let's draw for this when it is angle angle 60 whereas it is square root of 3 over 2 so it will be in this way and here this is angle 60 and here we draw like this and this so to be x the other values of x it will be 60 when it is square root of 3 over 2 to be 60 comma in here 180 minus 60 it is 120 and in here 180 plus 60 it is 240 and here 360 minus 60 it is 300 so these are the other values of x these are the values of x when it is plus or minus square root of 3 over 2 and these are the values of x when it is plus or minus a half so these are all the values of x values of angle x in this our problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video Bye-bye.